Hey, welcome to the next video. Now I'm going to add one more feature. This login form should disappear if you're logged in and leave only the log out button. And also down here the add new hero button should not appear unless you are logged in. So I'm going to change two more things on these forms. So back into the code. Remember there was an on auth state change command. So if we have somebody logged in, we know that we can hide the forms and show the forms. So I'm going to say hide the login form as my notes and show the create hero. So here's how this works. We're going to use a jQuery command. We're going to have to put in the ID of whatever that form is and simply type in the word hide. And we'll, the same thing will happen when we want to show the create hero form. So I need to go look those two IDs up, but this is the simple command in jQuery. So let's go find out what the login form was called. It's been some time since we typed that. So near the top of the page, we have a login form. And sure enough, it has an ID called login form. So let's use that as our ID. Back down to line 475, we're going to say this div ID is going to be hidden when logins are successful. So the new hero form is listed higher on the page. So it looks like on mine 178 is the line where it starts and the add hero is the ID that I need to actually show. Let's go back down and type in this ID as the item to show. So this should hide the login form and show the create hero form. Those will be reversed when we log out. So let's copy that. We come to line 305. So it says we've got a successful logout. Now we want to show the login form and hide the create hero form. So switch these two commands from show to hide and hide to show. Save the changes. Reload the page. I'm logged in. The logout button is the only thing that is remaining. The create new hero form is visible. Let's log out. The login form now appears and at the bottom of the screen there is no form down here for create a new hero. I'm going to sign back in with Google and watch the forms disappear and reappear once the login is complete. And so now it looks like our application is running. So I just have one more video now. And so in that video, we're going to talk about some of the shortcomings that you will see in the design of this application using jQuery and Firebase. And then talk about some of the advantages of newer types of programming besides jQuery and how you might be able to implement them in the future. So thanks for taking me this far and I hope you have a good application.